If one day you look at a world map and pay a bit more attention, there's a detail that might make you smile with amusement. In southern Europe, standing out in the heart of the Mediterranean, is a country with a shape unlike any other. It's not a circle, square, or triangle, but a tall boot kicking a ball. Surprisingly accurate. Yes, it's Italy, the country famous for pizza, wine, the Roman Empire, and ancient cities like Rome, Venice, and Florence. But perhaps few realize that Italy's familiar boot shape hides a story stretching tens of millions of years, involving geology, tectonics, history, and humanity. So why is Italy shaped like a boot? Is this just a fun coincidence, or the result of a grand sequence of Earth's transformations? Let's embark on a journey to uncover the story behind this magical boot. Imagine you're looking down at Europe from space. In the center of the Mediterranean, Italy appears as a narrow strip of land stretching from north to south, gently curving. It's bordered by seas to the east, west, and south. But what captures the eye is its shape. Northern Italy is bordered by the Alps, like the boot's collar. The central part is lined by the Apennine Mountains, forming the body of the boot. The southern region, the Calabria Peninsula, is the toe kicking toward the island of Sicily. And Sicily is the ball near the boot's toe. It's no accident that Italians call their country Lo Stivali, which means the boot. In geography classes, Italian students are also taught this image as an easy way to visualize their homeland. To understand why Italy has such a unique shape, we must go back in time, not just hundreds or thousands of years, but tens of millions. The Earth is not static. The crust of our planet is divided into massive tectonic plates that constantly move, albeit very slowly, only a few centimeters per year, but enough to create mountains, rifts, and even entire continents. Modern day, Italy lies right at the intersection of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. About 65 million years ago, the African plate began drifting northward, colliding with the Eurasian plate. This tremendous collision not only thrust up the Alps, but also compressed, bent, fractured, and stretched the land between the plates southward, forming the curved shape we see today. Unlike Switzerland or Germany with their clearly defined borders, Italy seems to have been pulled away from the rest of the continent. Geologists believe the tectonic clash created a series of basins, folded mountains, and fractured continental shelves, shaping the peninsula into a long form, the boot's body. Being located on a tectonic boundary, Italy is one of the most geologically active areas in Europe. Famous names like the volcanoes Vesuvius, Etna, and Stromboli are all the result of magma activity beneath the Earth's surface. Combined together, these silent but powerful tectonic movements have sculpted the Italian boot, not overnight, but over tens of millions of years. Once tectonic forces formed the basic shape of Italy, the rest was shaped by terrain and climate. Northern Italy is home to the Alps, the tallest and most rugged mountains in Europe. They're not just the boots collar on the map, but also a natural barrier protecting Italy from the continent's cold air. Running from north to south is the Apennine Range, considered Italy's spine. These mountains prevent Italy from being flat, giving it a gentle curve like the shaft of a leather boot. Along the coastlines are small plains and crescent-shaped bays, creating the soft contours like stitching along the boot's edge. Calabria, the toe, juts out clearly to the south, making the boot shape especially striking. But it's not just geology, Italy's history is also closely tied to the boot's unique shape. The Roman Empire was born in a small region near the boot's body in the city of Rome. From there, thanks to Italy's elongated shape, coastal access, and natural connectivity, Rome expanded its influence across the entire peninsula and eventually across the Mediterranean. The boot shape helped the Romans easily manage land along a north-south axis build an efficient road network, develop naval power thanks to three coastal fronts. Before unification in 1861, Italy was a patchwork of small states, Naples, Venice, Florence, Milan. Though they spoke the same language, the divided terrain 
led each region to grow independently. However, thanks to the boot's long, narrow shape, unification progressed smoothly, moving from north to south, starting in Piedmont and spreading to Sicily. The boot isn't just a map feature. It has become part of the Italian cultural identity. Small blue diamond in everyday life. Italians often proudly say, I'm from the heel of the boot, or my hometown is on the boot's collar. TV shows, newspapers, and even a national soccer team use the boot symbol in their branding. Small blue diamond in art and music. Italy's unique shape inspires painters, filmmakers, and musicians. From classical architecture to modern fashion, the Italian boot remains a symbol of elegance and individuality. Did you know that the shape of Italy's boot is still changing? Small blue diamond, the African plate, keeps pushing north. Though very slowly, the African plate continues its northward drift. This causes the Alps to rise a few millimeters each year. Calabria, the toe, to gradually sink. Sicily to potentially move further away in the future. Small blue diamond earthquakes and volcanoes are still active. In 2023, Mount Etna erupted again. Cities like Naples and Catania still rely on seismic alert systems. Italy lives with geological risks, but it has also learned to adapt and appreciate the beauty of nature. So after a long journey through geology, geography, history, and culture, you can see the boot-shaped country of Italy is far more than a charming coincidence. It is the result of tens of millions of years of tectonic motion, continental collisions, uplifted mountains, and simmering volcanoes. And above all, it's the symbol of a nation both ancient and vibrant, always finding beauty in adversity. Next time you look at a map, remember, that boot isn't just a stretch of land, it's a story. If you enjoy this kind of exploration, leave a comment down below to let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss the next surprising story hidden behind a map.